Alright, uh, this is a test. How is my volume? Hold on, they won't be able to do it. Alright. Yeah. You're live, remember? Uh, am I live right now? Oh, all right. You ready, Andres? Two meters with the broadcast coming up. Let's get it. This is a test. How am I sounding? How do I sound? Test, test, test. It's out. Can you hear me? Uh, how do I sound? How do I sound? Do I need to go up? Do I need to go down? Can you not hear me at all? They can hear you, but it's coming like really loud. All right, so I'll just yeah, maybe. All right, let's all the way down. All the way down. Well, I can I can put it out here. Just I guess. All right. Go ahead. All right. All right. How do I sound? How do I sound? Hi. Uh, how do I sound? Should I move it closer or farther away? Or is this perfect? Alrighty, so the Shilmets are warming up here, getting ready for their seventh game on the year against our very good Thunder Academy team, who is six and zero. Uh, the Shilmets are four and two this year, uh, playing very well with a very well-rounded team of um, young sophomores and juniors and uh, leading seniors on this team. Go ahead and put it close to your mouth. Closer? Yeah. Oh. Right after that. 
Question? Yeah. Oh. Uh, being worked by, by some CEOs, uh, the big one is being Alistair Green on number 24 and Jacob Medina on number 25. Both of these guys have won out a really good game that's going to be hard for the show that's the last. The show marks are going into the locker room to get their team motivation started. Um, so what inspiring words, Coach Fullhouse, for the show my team going against an undefeated Bennett Academy. minutes left to, to start. Uh, Alrighty. So I'm going to make some stuff like if something good happens, like if something like if someone, you know, hits a big three or like a big play happens, go up to like the crowd, alright? Okay. So to see their reaction?
my way to talk to them. The final minute, final seconds counting down to this Shadrack Bennett game to start to get on their way. We will soon be introduced to our Star Wars. And uh, we'll see where uh, Coach B has played for this game against Bennett. Uh, Bennett, 6 0. They're called the Red Wings. And of course, you see Patrick Shamrocks. And uh, well, uh, the announcer will take it away to announce the Star Wars.
section today as the as the refs are arguing over the call right now and um, it still looks like it's a jump down uh, and it's some sort of play to Nick Chaffee all day long pass it to Austin Freeman this Bennett team is playing some very nice defense right now but if there's a team that could go hand in hand in the defensive battle, it's time for the show. It's down below the halfway through. Two drives, two misses for both teams right now. And you're, you're getting the sense that whoever has the better defensive game is going to have the winning score today. Now, um, Chicken Medea, I don't know if I'm going to hit Chicken right there. Well, uh, it's probably for her. Number 23, Will Angles will take the lead for Bennett. This is the number one. Oh, Will Angles right now. And Jacob Levine is going up and down the court. Oh, he's going to watch. But he will get the foul. He's trying to get out of the foul. And that will be Jacob Levine going to take the foul now. Jacob is going to have the first place on the bottom, but I got three for Jacob is going to have a 6'3 guard, 175, 170. Now you know it, Sam Pelts has had an excellent career. Number nine, Charlie Dollard, going up the court. No, Dollard, sorry, going up the court, Dollard. 
Pass to Alonzo, the big man, number 25. Ooh. A little bit of a quick call right there by the ref, but you can't, you can't argue that. Let's go get him, shake him to the ground, bro. That's probably going to be a big thing about today's game. Don Galati, go, 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 shoot! Over the backboard. First shot that was not a free throw to be scored today. Shot it to him, bring it open. Passes it around. And it will be out of bounds. Pass by Charlie Tyler. Well, it, seems, it seems like Bennett's sort of getting a little scared right now. They get a couple subs. Charlie Dollard Dollar at uh, Trevor Kazmer out for number four. Matt Reed, uh, number 24. Going on time sack. And he gets a big man, Joe Fanny. Passes it out to Austin Freeman. Austin making a little chicken with the for three. Off the mark. That's going to cover up the court right now. All these players look very athletic though. So it seems like Bennett is going to run a lot of fast pace. I think it's 23. Will Angles commits a slammer. They're going to get a little sense that Bennett is a little bit unhealthy right now. Um, I mean... I'm glad to bring it in, doing a little, uh, sort of a, you know, stirring of the world, but Austin Freeman trying to find a hard answer, and oh, it does not find a way, but passes up to new children for free. Ooh, that is it. Ball coming back up the court, three and left, and he's still a score. And Kim Kuro and Kwame Archipel have just checked in, and we'll have them after this next break. Alphonse, I'm going to be Dom Galati coming up with the right now. Make sure you're feeling a little bit of a shot. Dom Galati, we'll get Jacob Medina back on top. Austin Freeman will restart this offense. Dom Galati, they're just trying to find a shot right now. So two big men now for Shamrocks. What are you focusing on? Are you going to stop it? Uh, let's get some rebounds, right? Try not to. Oh, but it's going to be number 25. Daniel Tuka. Getting her points, first points. Five minutes into this game. All right, Kale Cole, Jimmy Alon. Sort of a true point guard sort of type, but you know, also is that a great shooting ability. Very incredible. Very incredible. Very incredible. Very incredible. Very incredible. Very 
Ten players to score. It's been very nice. And it's been all. It has been all. Don't go out of the way. It's a total. It's a total. It's a total. It's a total. Students, Coach Luke there to keep everything under control. An impressive first quarter by the Shamrocks. Uh, being able to uh, keep on it to only one field goal and only four points is very impressive. It's not sure what the hell of the team. You gotta think that uh, is this a making of the Shamrocks making a good upset? Charlie Dollar, number 10, Trevor Kazmir, number 23, Orlando, who actually will just be the starting round of the gun. And for the Sherlock's, just take out Kwame and put Joe back in, and they got the same rotation right now. Well, easy pass right there, number one. Look at it, it's Charlie Dollar, getting his first points in the game, and that is first field goal. Made a basket that wasn't a free throw since probably the four minutes in the first quarter. So, I mean, you really get to those sometimes, but we just gotta have least a lot of mistakes on us we possibly can to beat this team. So, I'm glad we're making a little undercut though. We're gonna give it to the ball, yes! Oh! Try to make Jeff Fire. Swapping has been a good one. Swapping has been a good one. Swapping a try right by the last one just didn't have a speed set. And uh, it's going to be the best battle in six shots with 655 in the second quarter. Trying to get some points on his board. Awesome Freeman gets the ball. Big Joe Fanning, top of key, tries to get something going. There's a screen. Caleb Cora protecting that ball, not getting it stolen away. Don Galati trying to force something to happen. Big Joe from three! Section 
just block out everything Bennett has to say. Uh, number 25, we have the only guys definitely going to the Bennett Academy. That's the oh, lost check out there. Oh, pick up the foul, where oh. Shabbat's moving a lot of mistakes in the start of the second quarter, but still playing some great defense to keep that lead. So you would have wished to get some more points, but I mean, if the Shabbat's have been playing this great defense, they look unbeatable right now. But we get to the big man, Declan took off. And he's only six four. Oh, Bob Shaw's coming out. Oh, we get a great screen for us in front of us. The guys for Shane Pats making some big plays. The bat just going through on screens, talking to each other, making some great communication. Because it passes this for this, for me, this for the picture there. Declan, Florian, in. Declan, the lead slower for this better team right now. Okay, the corner, Jimmy, has to be on the top, and he will take the corner. He got it. left in the game. Half and a half. Jay Foley on the top. They had some dribble plays. And so it's Ben Gushman now checking out for the game. That's going to be a block and a little 23 Olympus I'm guessing. Oh, oh. Number one Charlie Fowler though.
He is making his first appearance in this game. That's what it came to him taking his first shot. are the big players right now, and they're both starters on this team. But besides them, only two other players are scoring, and that's one three-pointer and a thrower. So currently, this Shazam's team is playing some great take-down defense, and are containing the two big stars to only currently nine points. 21-14 currently has the score. Then it is bad with two minutes remaining in the game. And a half. Oh, yeah. And that will be Dom Galati with a good closeout on number 10. Trevor Kazmir has not been able to hit his shot today. And that will be number 23, Will Ankles, going to the line. Oh, it won't be one and one. It won't be two shots, actually. And number two, Bennett, <laughs> Bennett Hickey. He plays for Bennett, and his name is Bennett. The fans are wild for this guy's second shot, and he will make it. Will Angles at six points now for Bennett. Caleb Coro bringing up the court for the Shamrocks. Nicolotti up top now, Caleb Coro. And this is the first time in the game that there is no seniors on the court for the Shamrocks. Ooh, taking a little swipe right there. Trying to get that steal. Uh, will Ingles will bring it in. Kicks out to number 24. No. And that's Caleb Coro coming up with the rebound. And he was looking to take a pop-up shot. Got a good close off by Bennett though. 50 seconds left in this half, and the, number two, Bennett Hickey on Dom Galati at the top, but he'll just pass it away to his brother Nick Galati, who'll bring it in, pass it to Caleb Coro. Caleb Coro dribbling it around top of the key. 30 seconds left in this half. Joe Fanning now. Joe Fanning gets it to Dom Galati. Dom Galati has the ball. 24 seconds left. That's Nicolotti now. Nicolotti to Dom Galati. Dom Galati trying to make a big play. And they've just burned out this half. Ten seconds left. Now, tell, now Coach Bailey telling Dom Galati to attack. Nicolotti open for three. Oh, it ran a little out. And that will end the half. The Shamrocks at 21. Bennett Academy at 15. What a great first half for these Shamrocks. Uh, I can stay. I'll just sit here. 
I'm probably going to stop for now. I'll be back there.
All righty, Shamrock fans. We are starting this second half of the Shamrock Bandit Academy Red Wings. The Red Wings versus the Shamrocks. The starters for the Shamrocks in the game and the starters for Bennett in the game. Bennett will start the ball and we start the second half. And it will be started with an offensive rebound by number 10, Trevor Kazmier. And we will take the three, but it will be off. There's a foul on number... On who there? Uh, maybe uh, Tom Galati right there, but uh, I'm not sure who got the foul right there. Uh, Bennett's ball will take it out, and they'll just tuck it out to uh, number 10 there. But there will be a travel call, giving it right back to the Sherrocks. Made by Declan Kendricks, one of the two big players of the Shamrock of this Bennett team. That him and Will Angles have 10 points of the Bennett's 15 points this game. But Dom Galati and Austin Freeman, they combined for 14 points of this first half. Of the Shamrocks, 21 points. Coach Bailey is furious. Austin Freeman slips, apparently, and it will be Bennett's ball again. Shot off. Austin Freeman gets the rebound. Uh, hurry up offense. Down the court to Joe Fanning. Ooh, thinking about popping the number three. It's Austin Freeman dribbling it right now. Ooh. Ooh. Jump ball, maybe? Is that jump ball? Coach Luke Chance here for the Dean of Students. And Shamrocks will take out the ball. Looking for a pass right now. Nick Trophy in the corner to Jacob Medina. On top to Dom Galati off the pass. Tipped. Tipped ball. Shamrock ball still. Seven minutes left in the game. In the quarter. I'm by bet. Oh, a little press right there by Bennett, and they'll just knock it out. Okay. Uh, Shamrock will take out the ball. <laughs> Take out the ball. An interesting way to start the third quarter. A minute in. And the Shamrocks will be taking up the ball. Bennett introducing a new press right now. Austin Freeman to Dom Gladi. Dom Gladi to Jacob Medina. Jacob Medina will go in to Joe Fanning. Joe Fanning, the big man, got two people on him, but he doesn't care. He's going to find the pass to Dom Gladi, and he will take it back out. And... There's going to be a foul on Bennett there. I think by number 10 right there by Bennett. Uh, it will be Jacob Medina passing the ball to Nick Chofi. Dom Gladi, Jacob Medina. Jacob Medina, Austin Freeman in the corner. Austin Freeman to Nick Chofi. Nick Chofi's going to get slapped by number 25, 25 Declan Kendricks. And the overhead chance coming out again. Shamrock Nation loud today. Dom Galati making a nice move there. Joe Fanning calling for the screen. We'll get the mismatch. Joe Fanning open. Oh, nice ball kick in. And he will be fouled. Oh, Bennett's coach a little bit unhappy. And Shamrock's ball will be taken out. we have It's been an interesting two minutes to start this quarter, but... Shamrock ball still. 
Joe Fanning tipped it to Austin Freeman on accident there. Austin, then it sort of getting a little confused. Everyone's going to take a little break right now and sort of sort everything out without taking a timeout as they'll do their premier guard rotation. And that's going to be a foul on number 10. Oh, no, number one, Charlie Dollard. And they'll have two subs, number two, Bennett Hickey, and number 24, Liam Tomsack. And it will be Nick Trophy receiving the ball. Getting a little trapped right there, but we'll pass it out. Austin Freeman now has the ball, bringing it in. And passes out to Nick Trophy. Nick Trophy to Jacob Medina. Oh, rattles. Oh, a little bit scrappy, and Bennett will pick up the ball. Bennett bringing it up the ball nice and quick. Willem Angles bringing it in. Oh, it gets tipped by Joe Fannin. But he'll get his own rebound and will not get it. But number 24, Liam Tomsack will get it. Tipped out by Dom Galati, though. And two people, they're coming in. You know their names. Kwame Anchapong and Caleb Coro going in for Nick Trophy and Jacob Medina. So it seems like Coach Belly is using this is, uh, interesting rotation of having two big guys, one big guy, and then two big guys again. And number two, Bennett Hickey will get his first shot of the game. A huge three-pointer for Bennett. Three-point game now. Oh, bad pass by Caleb Coro. Out of bounds. And Nick Lottie will come into the game and Caleb Coral out right away. Coach Bailey making some interesting plays. I mean, interesting decisions. And guess what? That's why he's a Hall of Famer. All right, got a play and play. We got Dom Galati. We got we got the Galati brothers. We got Kwame. We got Joe. We got Austin. And another foul by Bennett. They're just they're just ranking up the fouls right now. Take out Nick Galati. Gave Caleb a little talk, and he's back in the game. Four thirty left in the quarter. Three points scored this entire quarter. Interesting way to start off, to say the least. All right, Dom Glotti in top of the key, passing it around to Austin Freeman. Austin Freeman has a somewhat mismatch, but we'll get it to Dom Glotti. Dom Glotti. Dom Glotti trying to find something open. Kwame back to Dom Glotti. Dom Glotti pull up back. No. Ooh, Joe Fanning call for the over the back. Four minutes left in this third quarter. All righty. 21-18. Shamrock haven't scored yet. Bennett has three points to start this quarter. 24, Liam Tomsack ties the game. Shamrock's got to get something going here. It's a timeout, but not for these fans. These fans, you know, getting some good chance in here. Timeout over, Shamrock ball, 3.43 left in the quarter. 
Shamrock's hoping they could get something started on offense. And Bennett will keep this press going. We'll see what the Shamrock answer is. Caleb Coral will grab the ball and will start to dribble it up. And it seems that Bennett will retreat. Alrighty. Jacob Medina. Uh, Tom Galati now trying to make a shot happen. Shamrock just needs something to go in right now. Caleb Coro looking for something now. He'll drive in. Passes out to Tom Galati. Tom Galati will take it. And it's good. Tom Galati. You can't say anything, but he is really trying hard. He's really put a lot of effort into this game. And it goes over. Shamrock ball. This is what the Shamrocks needed to really get going. Caleb Coral will take up the ball. And Bennett has just abandoned this press currently. Pass to Jacob Medina. Jacob Medina looking for a shot. We'll just hand it off to Dom Galati. Dom Galati goes for the fake screen. Passes out to Jake, Jake Medina. Jake Medina is going to power it in. Just take it up. Joe Fitty will tip it in though. That's the big man. Five points for him on the day. Our big man, some of the team's favorites, getting the most love currently. It will be Bennett Balbo taking it right under the basket. They're passing it around now. Ooh, a little bit of an awkward pass right there. A little bit of second guessing it as Big Joe making another play. Whoa, a little bit scrappy right there. And it will be a foul when I think that was either number two, Bobby Hickey, or number 55, Colin Crothers. Nope, that will be a foul on Ben Hickey right there. Nick Trophy will be checking in. And Big Joe coming out after a big streak of events right there. A tip in, a block, and a rebound. Caleb Coro dribbling up the ball now. Passes it to Nick Trophy. Nick Trophy to Jake Medea. Jake Medea. Try to get a, they try to pickpocket him, but you just can't. Caleb Coro from three. Oh, yeah. And that will be the 6 8 center. Colin Crowfers coming up with that rebound. Oh, wow. If there's one guy who's had an impressive second half, it's been Liam Tomsack. A Bennett hitting two threes this half. And it's having most of the points for this Bennett team currently. Dom Galati will bring it in, though, trying to draw a foul. Oh, a little shot to the face there. Nothing called. And there will be a block. Rough string of events right there for the Shamrocks. Up by two. Let's see if uh, Declan Kendricks could hit these shots. First one in. Shamrocks hoping for something big right now. And it'll mess both of them. And the Shamrocks will get the ball back. Nick Trophy going up the court. Dom Galati now. Dom Galati and Jacob Medea open for three. Oh, just off. Oh. Oh. The rest of us have Kwame there. Big Joe coming in. Nick Trophy coming out. They're going with the two big men and the three guys right now. Let's see if there's only a minute left in this quarter. Let's see. What Bennett will try and do, and we'll see if 
the Shamrocks could get this ball back. All right, Bennett's go. Oh, off the foot. Make a statement. All right, 50 seconds left on this clock. Bennett ball. Let's see if the Shamrocks can get it back or at least get a stop here. It's going to be out to Will Angles. Oh, Will Angles getting a little aggressive there. And the Shamrocks, Kwame will come up with it. And St. Patrick Shamrocks will call a timeout. 26-24, 35 seconds left. Twenty-six, twenty-four. Shamrock ball. Shamrock lead. And you won't be surprised if this is the last shot of this third quarter, leading up to an epic fourth quarter ahead of us. Bennett gonna bring up a press. Caleb Coro open, but that's gonna be number twelve. Colin Gillespie back in the game. But Caleb Coro making some nice moves to get the Shamrocks the ball with twenty-five seconds left to move it around. Kwame out for the game for Nick Trophy. Caleb Coro Caleb making some great moves. As Don Galati makes number two dance a little. And he's going to look back at him. Nick Trophy for three. And it's good. And it's good. It's not a buzzer beater, but a left one second on the clock. And the better won't get for Shannon. Nick Trophy hitting his fresh basket of the day. A huge three-pointer for the Shamrocks, and it will now be 29-24. Eight minutes is all that's left on this clock. To a fantastic game played by both of these two. Highlighted by defense. Phenomenal play by Don McGlotty. And just full of clutch shots by both teams. But there's been a... Shamrock's cheering for all this administrative here. We got a Dr. Joe chant. We got a Coach Luke chant. And now, we got a coach for Brizio champ. It's going to be Ben's ball. Eight minutes left. And that's our starters in the game. And Bennett will have the same thing. But besides uh, Trevor Kazmir, it will be Liam Tomsack, who's had a huge third quarter. Will Angles from three off the mark. But that's going to be Colin Quo. He's going to be called for the reach there. That's Austin Freeman. And Colin Crovers will go to the line. We'll see if he can pick up his first points. Hitting his first shot of the day. 29-25. Bennett. Bennett probably around at 50% currently with their free throw percentage. I'm not sure on the exact number, but it's been something like that. Man, the stuff section must be fortune tellers saying uh, you will miss on the roof. Emotionally will call Shamrock Ball. 29-25. But Bennett getting a little getting a little antsy here. We'll start the press now. Nick Trophy looking for something. And it'll be a foul on number two, Bennett Hickey. 
Benahicki will pick up another foul on this game. His second foul of the game. But the Shamrocks will have to start from square run, square one though. We'll see what play they got. Joe Fanning running down the court, but they guarded that. All right, here comes Dom Glotti up, up, trying to get around Will Angles, and he will get across the court. Nick Chufi. Oh, air ball from three. will just get it right back to the Shamrocks. Coach Bailey trying to get something going for them. And then Jacob Medina taking it in the corner. He's going to pass it up to Caleb Coro. And Caleb will bring it back half court. And Caleb passing it to Jacob Medina. But it will get tipped and stolen by number two, Ben Hickey. And a huge and one scenario made by Charlie Dollard. A uh, foul by Nick Trophy. A uh, three throw right here, 29-27, Shamrock lead. Let's see if Ben can fix this free throw struggle. They can, but oh, a big rebound by Declan Kendrick to tie up this game. Six minutes, 50 seconds left in this game, and Dom Gladys going to be bringing up this ball. And that's going to be Jacob Medina now to Nick Chofi. Nick Chofi will get it stolen away. And Charlie Dollar will pick up the points as Bennett picks up their first lead of the game. Six thirty left in this game. Shamrocks down by two. First time being down in this whole game. Uh I don't know. Bad of Timeout. Means chant war. And that's what's happening right now. And a weak punch back by Bennett. It's going to be Shamrock Ball, though. Let's see if they can get back some points. Shamrock's always finding a way to come back from one. Jacob Medina will get it to Austin Freeman. Oh, Austin Freeman. We'll take it up slowly. Austin Freeman now has the ball. Austin Freeman making some nice moves. We'll get it to Dom Galati. Dom Galati to Caleb Coro. Caleb Coro back to Dom Galati. Dom Galati. Oh, we're getting stolen away. Charlie Dyer will hit the free layup. Shamrock making some turnovers here. Costing them their lead. But they got a score right here. Dom Galati trying to get in. Push. That's what they need. Dom Galati getting a little heated. He's trying to bring them back into the game. He's already kept them in the game. Let's see if that, let's see if what they can get done. Oh, it's gonna be it's 
it's going to be... It's going to be Dom Galati taking some free throws here. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. If they can hit these free throws right here, it would be huge for the Shamrocks. First one off. Big Joe will tip it to the Bennett. Bennett will bring the ball up. Bennett right away to Colin Crow first, and he'll get it in. Shamrock's down by six. All right, check it out. Oh, just another terrible pass. And it's going to be Charlie Dyer, now the leading scorer for this Bennett Red Wings. And the Shamrocks are now down by eight. It's been a rough fourth quarter for the Shamrocks. But plenty of time. Shamrock's down by eight. Five minutes left in this game. Shamrock's looking for some magic. Dom Glotti will take the ball up from the inbound. Jacob Medina looking for a pass right now. Caleb Coro on top. Caleb will give it to Jacob Medina. Jacob Medina trying to look for something to go. Gets it to Big Joe. Big Joe in the post making some magic. We'll just dump it to Dom Galati. That's what they needed. Back to the six-point game. 440 left in the game. And they're going to get some momentum now. Coming off this timeout. If we can get a big stop, the fans are looking for some good defense. Let's see what they can do here. Oh, that's Will Angle getting his first points of this half. Getting a huge three, nine-point game now. Dom Galati, oh, off the mark. Four minutes left in the game, nine, down by nine to Shamrocks. Let's we'll see if the Shamrocks can work up some magic and get some Get some points and get some stops right here. Oh, Caleb almost getting a steal there. Timeout by Bennett. Let's hope that this Shamrock team can come up with some game plan to take out these red wings. So the big story of this second half has not been Shamrock continuing their dominant defense. It's been Bennett Academy getting some great turnovers, leading it straight to points, and having some huge second halves by bench player Liam Tomsack, who's had two clutch threes, and Charlie Dollard, who's had six consecutive points for Bennett Academy. But with 340 still on the clock, there's plenty of time for the Shamrocks to get back some nine points. And we know they can get some defensive stops. Getting there right there. Uh, they can't pick it up, though. No. Caleb Coro make the silly foul. 334 left in this game. And it's going to be one and one for Bennett. And they're going to clean up the floor, floor, floor right there. Let's we'll see if the Shamrocks can win this one out, though. Yeah. 
Nick Chofi coming into the game. And Caleb Goro coming out. Alrighty, we're set for this one and one action here. One one and one free throw. And Brent Hickey will miss it, but and Declan Kendricks will miss the putback. Nick Trophy coming down, and he will pass a turnover. That's number one, Charlie Dollard. That's Charlie Dollard again, having another fast break through throw. Layup. Austin Freeman trying to make something happen. We'll get two shots. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes left. Down by eleven. Austin Freeman for the line. We're at the first one. So only down by ten now. Three minutes. That's doable for the Shamrocks. And that will be Nicolotti checking in for Nick Kielke. Joe Fanning trying to tip it in, but Bennett will get the rebound. Three minutes now on the clock. Down by 10. And Shamex forced the turnover. Here comes Jacob Medina. Floater off the mark. Bennett passing around, trying to kill some clock now. 240 left in this game. Down by 10. That's a travel. Travel by Charlie Dowd. 223 now. Let's hope that's enough time for the Shamrocks to make some clutch shots and some clutch stops. All right. It's Austin Freeman. Austin Freeman floater off the mark. And then it's going to start burning off some clock. Or are they drawing a foul and one? And it seems like it's over for the Shamrocks here. Shamrocks down by 12 of two minutes left in this game. It's doable, but it's going to be tough for the Shamrocks. Let's see how effective their press is here. And they're fortune tellers, I say. Again, predicting another miss, and again, another miss. Nicolotti for three, and they get him. That's what they needed. Nicolotti, two for two for three, two for two up the three point line, and they got some press now. Charlie Dowler trying to bring it up for the Bennett Academy Red Wings. Nicolotti playing some good defense. Will Angle will pass it. And there's going to be a foul on Chick Medea there. 1.43 on the clock. Oh, a technical foul, they say. So they're called a technical foul on Jacob Medina. So that's going to be Declan Kendricks. He's been struggling at the line today. We'll see what he does here. He hits it. And he'll miss it, so he went one for two. 50%. 
just like Bennett shooting at the line. Bennett's going to take a timeout, or Shamrock's, which one of the two. And, and it's a 10-point game. It's a rough, it's been a rough second half for the Shamrocks. Bennett really just scoring half of their points in his fourth quarter alone. I mean, uh, Bennett came out aggressive, made some good steals, made some, they got the 50-50 balls, and uh, it just seemed like the Shamrocks couldn't pull this one out after the good first half. Bennett, though, one of the one of the best, one of the better teams in Illinois currently. It's going to be their ball. A minute forty three left, and you can only guess that they're going to kill some time right now. As no press for St. Pat's. Oh, a little bit footsie right there, and they foul there. A minute 33 on the clock. They're going to put Declan back on the free throw line. Being a big impact, having rebounds, steals, blocks, and points for this team. I mean, you would you would say this game was perfect if he hit every free throw. I mean, that's that's all you really have to say about how well he has played in this game. So, uh... He misses another one. So if Bennett worked on something, <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a rough day for the Shamrock offense and defense in the second half, and another fast break. This time, Will Angle gets the points. A minute left. Clock running out. Shamrock's down by 13. Dom Gladi off the mark. Nothing fell for the Shamrock's this second half. Alrighty. Clock burning out. 30 seconds left in the game. And they're just passing around. The Shamrock's still trying, though. That's that Shamrock spirit. <laughs> and of course, the Shamrock stud section getting their final licks in on this Bennett Academy stud section. Five, four, three, two. One, and that will be it. Bennett Academy Red Wings. 48, your St. Patrick Shamrocks will end 35. Dom Galati having a dominant game, scoring at least more than double-digit points. But that will not be enough. Dom Galati on his own couldn't take this team. The offense sort of just shut off in his third, fourth quarter. And they couldn't get any momentum going. And Bennett, they just made huge defensive plays at the end of this game. Getting some big steals, getting some big uh, layups and not missing them. And it's it's a rough loss for the Shamrocks because it was all mental mistakes. It was turnovers. And they couldn't take advantage. 
of Bennett's misfortune on the free throw. This has been your St. Pat's webcasting team, and we'll see you next time.